This is a lesson that revises much of the work that we did on the 24th of July. We are focusing on HTML. And in this lesson, we use Notepad to bring in some code from a blog. And it's the second of our HTML lessons. I'm going to just go over some of the stuff we did yesterday. First of all, we noticed that we were working with HTML, which is hypertext markup language. And we learned how to make a HTML file using Notepad. And how did we get to do that? We opened up the editor, the text edit editor, which is found over here. And we typed in N on our keyboard. And that brought up this Notepad which is a text editor. Now, it's not what we would normally use for this. We would usually use a better text editor, but I'm going to use it for my HTML. So if I go over here and you can see I've typed in a little tag. It's a little small, so I'm going to change the formatting. Go to format. I'm going to make the font big. So I'm going to make it 22 so you can all see it very easily. So there's our first tag. And I'm going to write HTML, hypertext markup language. And then I'm going to put the ending tag down here, forward slash HTML. And the ending, there's the tag. So we've got the beginning and the ending of our HTML file. Now, it's always very important to lay out your work very clearly so I'm going to just press the space bar three times and I'm going to type in the head section of my HTML and that's head and it always needs to have an a ending as well so I don't want to write type the whole word head again so I'm going to select right click and I'm going to choose copy and then I'm going to put that over there just going to press my space bar three times and that brings it to that point over there. Now, inside the head section, I'm going to write my title. And yesterday I did explain to you that whatever's written in the title with a forward slash title will be shown as the tab on a web page. So let's just open something. There's the tab Purple Mash School Login, YouTube, Scratch Imagine Program, Google Calendar. These are all called tabs. All right, so let's just close that. And in the title, we'll say, my game. And you could write anything in there. And now I'm going to go to the body section. And in the body section, I'll write body, select it, right click, copy. And we're going to bring the ending to the body section. So I need to put in the forward slash, put that there. So now we have a body section. We've got a header with a title in it. And you can see my mistake already. Some of you have picked up that there is a mistake over here. You cannot have the body inside the head section. So I'm going to have to move this, these two bits of code. I'm going to move them and put them over there. So I'm going to right click, cut. I'm not going to copy. I'm going to cut. And I'm going to go control V to one, two, three. One, two, three with my space bar. And in this section is where we would write our information. So I'm going to press six now. And I'm going to type in H1. And we're going to have a look at this. This is a header. My favorite game. And we could put our purple mash game underneath this. And this is a heading that goes with our web page. So you will see over here, my favorite game will stand out very, very much. So if I had to save this, I go file and we're going to save it as an HTML file. So we'll have the extension of HTM and we'll call it purple mash game, purple mash game dot. And you know what the extension would be HTM and that'll go like that. And we just choose where we want to save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop. It's not always too good to save too much to your desktop as it does slow your computer down quite a bit. So remember not to do that too much. Now, as I've saved it, it should show 
the icon should show that it is an HTML file. So I'm going to my desktop and you can see over here it says Purple Mash Game HTM and there's the browser. This is the Chromium browser. So it's the new browser that's come through Google Chrome. So let's have a look. My favorite game and look how big that is. My favorite game and there's my tab, my game. Right click, if I go to right click and I view page source, you can see it's rather small, so I'm going to hold down control and turn the wheel of my mouse, and there's my code. I cannot edit anything in here. This is just showing you the code behind the HTML. This code lives behind every single HTML file. So if I had to open any one of these pages and I wanted to see the code behind this Purple Mesh login page, I go right click and I go view page source, and you can have a look at the HTML, and you can see it's very, very complicated. Look at all the stuff that's written over here I'd, I'd ask you to do do spend some time having a good look at at some of the html because it's wonderful that every web page you can go into and look at the back end of it and see the html and you can learn a lot by just looking at the code i know that aiden a grade seven aiden is very very good with html and sometimes he tries to fool people by making everything look different so now I'm going to press and bring that tab in. And now we're going to type in some a second header. And we'll go H3, which is the third header. And this is getting smaller each time. H3. And we'll go like that. And we'll just say a puzzle from Purple Mash. And we'll bring in our embed code underneath that. So this is going to be the main header, the main heading, and then H3 will be a little smaller. It's a subheading. So if we go File and we Save, we press Save. That saved our HTML, and we just need to go to the browser. We know we're working with the new browser, Chromium. I haven't really experienced a lot with it. I haven't got a lot of experience so let's go reload page and you can see a puzzle from purple mash is a subheading it's not as big as my favorite game you can build little websites do some of your purple mash work you can even feed it into websites i can't see why many teachers can't use this for projects and you know there's so many things you can do so let's go back to our notepad the text editor and now we're going to go and do something a little different. I'm going to press my tab and put it over here, and I'm going to teach you how to change the font. So we're going to go font, and we're going to go size equals, and I think it's that. We'll go four, and we'll see what size size four font is, and I'll just go like that, and we're going to type the interesting game is developed by John and then we'll go forward slash and we'll end the font and we'll see how big size 4 is when you work with computers do experiment and see if you can try different things and it's that's how you learn you've got to experiment a great deal that's why they call them computer scientists and we go save back to chromium i can't wait to experiment on this and you can see that size four if we had to go back to our notepad and we change the size we'll try to make that three it should take it down one and we'll have a look open chromium open our browser and it's a little smaller if we went to the smallest we'll try one if we go to one how small will that be we go file save and it's always saving it as that html htm extension we'll open it we don't see it yet watch how small it'll go and really is quite small now i'd like you to practice in today's lesson just constructing write a story and produce an html file i hope you've enjoyed this and i hope you've learned and remember you can right click you can go to view page source and that's giving you the html code with the head, the body, 
And we learnt about headings. We learnt about subheadings, and you can change that to H2 if you want. And we learnt about making this the font to your own particular size. Now, yesterday in, we did a lesson in which we used the embeds from Purple Mesh. So let's just quickly do that. If you go to Purple Mesh, I'm going to log in and I'm going to take one of my games and include it. And I'd like you to try build a web page and show me it that you've constructed in Purple Mesh. And I'm going to just take one of the, this is a Mars game. I'll open that. And my computer's new, so I'm just downloading certain things and getting it set up. You can see it's loading the game. We're almost there. And this game's going to be embedded or placed into my HTML code. And I'm going to use that. That's what I want. And I'm looking for the embed code, and it says link and embed. Click on that. We could place a link, but I want to put the iframe. And I'm going to copy that. Okay. I'm going to close my purple mesh now. And in my HTML, I'm just for the last thing before I close off, I'm going to put that embed code and paste it into my HTML. Now you can see why it's going all the way to the end there. I have not word wrapped. When I wrap the text, you'll see it. It's a little bit smarter. Now don't mess around with this. This is correct. And we'll see if we save our work. We should have a purple mesh game. It's going to be a bit small. You're going to have to change these, the width and the height. I could do it now. Let's go with 1,600. I think Andrew showed me yesterday that that was the best. So I'm going to put that in and go save. We know that the HTM is going to automatically be a HTML file. We know that that's our game. That's the code. So we don't want that. And we're going to just refresh that. And it says that I need Adobe Flash. Not a problem. I'm just going to click on it and allow Adobe to run on my machine. Adobe Flash. Hmm. Is it loading? I hope so. There we go. So Adobe is loaded on my machine and it looks like I have to upgrade my Adobe. I don't think it's on my machine. It's a new machine. So obviously I'm going to load this onto my machine. And then once Adobe Flash is on my machine, I shouldn't have a problem. Everything will work. I think you've got the idea of how it works. So try it out and good luck with it. I'd like to just come around and have a look and see what you've done. Thank you. This lesson might seem somewhat disjointed, but what it involves is putting bits of code on a blog in Purple Mesh. These bits of code are then extracted from the blog and they are placed into a notepad file and then saved with the HTM extension. And that is then opened in the browser, which allows the learner to then play their Purple Mesh game within the blog. So that's the whole aim of it. And what am I going to show you? I will be showing you how to open Ayan's code in the Purple Mesh coding blog. And then we're going to save. Actually, we're going to first copy that code out of Notepad. And we're going to save it as an HTML file by using the HTM extension. We're going to copy and paste Ayan's code. And we're going to put it into an HTML document on Notepad. And then we will then play that code and that will help you to be able to do it. So I'm going to go to the Purple Mesh group, the shared blog, the coding group. And I know that I'm looking for the HTML code. So first of all, I'm going to look for the code. Now that's the video. And this is, as you can see, Ayan's little bit of code so i'm going to click on that and here it is let's just make it a bit bigger and you can see if i select this i'm going down here with my mouse i'm going to right click and i'm going to copy and now we're going to put notepad this bit of code that we've copied in notepad so i'm going to go click on start type n for notepad open notepad right click in the notepad our text editor 
and I'm going to now paste I'm going to save this with the HTM extension file save as and I'm going to change the name to my game we'll call it my game you can call it whatever you want HTM and then I'm going to just change this and save it in my desktop now look where I'm showing you in the, there is the desktop so we're gonna go save and now we can test to see whether we have made an HTML document. So it should be shown in the browser. So if I go over here, desktop, and you can see it says my game. That's the HTML and it's showing in the browser. It's loading. Oh, look there. And we got the game. So if I play the game, you can see it works. It does work. And unfortunately, it's a bit small. So the important thing is to go into the code change the size of these objects so in other words that 500 over there and that 300 should be this should be changed to a thousand and that should be changed to 600 and that will correct everything else 500 becomes a thousand and the 300 becomes 600 so i'm going to open up my html this one changes to become a thousand and remember we're in notepad again and this one's a 600 and we save our work, save, and when we return to Ayan, we just click on that, and you can see it's already bigger. Ayan's game is loading. It's far more suitable to play, and we can already start playing. So here I'm playing Ayan's game. I'm moving around. Oh, goodness, it's almost impossible to play. And what you can do is go into the code, and change and put that over there the link as your game this should help you so remember just to save in the correct way so we go file save as and you've got to give it that htm at the end there if you've got that then you can save it as a web page our browser will be able to read it